lot of different alarms that warn you when something isn't working as it was designed to work or as you desired it to work. So one of the most common calls that we will get is I can't turn the system on. Down in the lower right hand corner that's our master play button. So when it is red like that, that indicates that something's not right. To determine what isn't correct with it, I just press that button and it lists out everything that's good, everything that's ready, but it lists out our fan speed to start. So that would be an indicator that one of my fans isn't running above a thousand RPM. That's threshold for that alarm. Down at the bottom, I can see my fan speed to start is down at 106 for my fan one. So with my simulator, I'm going to increase the fan speed to show how when it's above a thousand that I can set that. If you're getting a high fan speed alarm, there's a different setting that we'll go into after that you got to check. So now if we have everything working right, this is white, turn on our clutches and run, everything will work as normal, the clutch will go green. So with no true ground speed, I'll press this, it'll go yellow, it's in a ready state, and it's spitting up product for a preset rate, and then it stops here, because we have no ground speed. So it's showing a bunch of active alarms up top. If there's only one or not too many, when it's at that, I can actually touch the wrench and it brings me to that pertinent alarm. So if I touch it when it's on the seed one, it brings me to the pertinent alarm for that specific problem. I'll just go back into the running screen. I'll turn off my clutch and I'm gonna add some fictitious RPM to one of my shafts to show you another thing. So I started some RPM on one of my shafts and after a bit of time we will get an alarm that will pop up saying that we have uh, the shaft is moving and there's nothing coming out. If I touch the wrench it brings me to that and it says that the alarm is enabled. You will of course correct the problem. There are certain alarms within this screen that have different parameters. So I talked earlier about the high fan speed alarm. So we've got rid of the alarm so we can show you some stuff on the screen. If I had my fan one high threshold at 3000 RPM, that means anything above 3000 RPM on our fan would give us an alarm. Doesn't mean that the system won't go higher, it just means it's going to have constant alarms. So you want to make sure your threshold is higher than your desired fan speed. Um, if our fans go up to 6,000 and we're going to be running up close to that, you want to set that up there. Same said for fan 2. You want to give yourself a cushion above the target fan speed so that you don't get nuisance alarms. The other place we can view active alarms, so I'll create some active alarms. Active alarms is up in here. So I'll just get rid of them so you can see that they're all in the list here, showing all of our active alarms. If I turn the master off, a lot of them are gone. So it's in a ready state. I'll turn that shaft on again, give some fictitious RPM. After a preset time, it'll pop up another warning here as well as up here.